Hi, I'm Roger Charles, Managing Director here at British Beds Worldwide, and I want to introduce you to the border of a mattress. What's so special about the border of a mattress, you may ask? Well, this is a Hypnos pocket sprung mattress, and the border of this mattress reveals to you several interesting facets of a luxury handmade pocket sprung mattress. What you're seeing here on the side of this mattress is first of all the ventilation holes, the chrome finished ventilation holes. Those are there to help moisture evaporate out of the inside of the mattress. Horribly we all lose about a half a litre of moisture a night and much of that may well be in the form of perspiration which will go through our bedding through the top surface of the mattress and into the fillings. Fortunately, the natural fillings that are in Hypnos mattresses help to disperse and evaporate away this moisture. And the ventilation holes are there to assist that process. You'll also see here the handles with which to carry the mattresses. Now these mattresses can be extremely heavy, very, very heavy. And so they have to be extremely strong handles to support the weight and you'll notice the flag stitching on the handles which give these handles great strength to help you to lift the mattresses. Top and bottom on the borders you'll also notice zips. Now this is because the mattress that we're looking at is what we call a zipped mattress. Very very useful. It, it basically means that you can have a large mattress on your bed from say 160 centimeters wide and upwards and you can have that mattress divided into two and that system the zip system helps you as far as turning the mattresses is concerned it helps you because you can have two mattresses of different tension placed on your bed side by side so if you are of differing weights or you prefer different feels to your mattresses you can have the two mattresses side by side zipped, cleverly zipped together to form one complete mattress but to suit you specifically and your individual weight. The zips also mean that you can separate the mattress when it comes to moving or in cases of illness or anything like that or if you have visitors coming when you want to somebody else to use your bed but it has to be say two single two different single beds rather than one large uh, bed for two people. And then the final aspect of what you're seeing here is what we call hand side stitching. If you notice the panels here uh, from top to bottom and laterally, uh, these little squares are first of all pre-stitched, but at the intersection of each of those squares there is a large stitch, larger stitch, which is done by hand uh, and a craftsman uses uh, his skills to sew the sides of the mattress into the main body of the mattress and so giving the side of the mattress strength. And I'd like if I may just to come into the picture to show you what I mean. If I sit on the edge of a normal of a cheap mattress then the mattress will bow out at the sides. Notice this one does it ever so slightly but if I try to pull the side of the mattress out it just won't come out. That's because the side of the mattress is sewn into the body of the mattress to give the side of the mattress strength and longevity. So this mattress, although it sags underneath my weight, it's bound to because it's a soft surface, nevertheless the mattress will spring back into shape and keep its shape and you won't get that awful long-term sagging uh, that you would get if the mattress were not hand side stitched. And one question to ask anybody when you're talking to them about a mattress is, is the stitching genuine hand side stitching or is it mock stitching or is it in fact done by machine? So genuine hand side stitching, very, very important. Oh, and one thing to look for, the more rows of hand side stitching, generally as a rule of thumb, the better. And this mattress has three rows of hand side stitching. Great strength, great longevity, and a fabulous mattress to boot. Thanks for watching.